How's it going, everyone? I'm Nostalgia Dave, and welcome back aboard the Nostalgia Train. Um, so, last time I was wondering about one particular side quest, Errand 132, which was the one we were missing. I, 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 took, I did a little bit of nitpicking, and... Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. The internet did not exist. There's no way I would have figured this out. <laughs> I'm gonna go back to the Iron Wyvern and mm, smell yo. Hi, Drippy Boy Monk. How do? Eh? What are you two doing by it? Is it obvious, man? We're preparing for the assault on Shiraz stronghold, ain't it? Um. Huh? <laughs> yeah, on. We brought loads of weapons and that. Shadar doesn't stand a chance. These guys do realize we already beat Shadar, right? Eh? I'll tell you what, though. Drippy boy. It wasn't easy finding this castle. It took flipping ages, it did. But here we are. On the... Whoa. <laughs> on the doorstep. Of destiny at last. You mean you've spent all this time looking for that dark djinn's castle? And you th think that great big white fortress by over there? Oh, by there is it? That's right, man. We're just doing what man asked us, ain't it? Uh, right. Well, I don't know how to break it this to you, boys. I really don't. I think Shadar's castle. Eh? Huh? Okay. Yeah, guys. We we already kicked Shadar's butt. Think about it. There's more. It's Shadar, you see. Well, to cut the long story short, he's already been dealt with, like. What? No. I, yeah, I get, I, I get it. You've got to be joking, man. We spent our life savings on these weapons. Every last gilder. What a flipping waste. Well? Hey, maybe it wasn't a waste. Shadar's gone. We still have a big battle ahead of us. Actually, we're, we're kind of in the middle of trying to save the world. Sure. I'm sure we'll be able to use the weapons he brought along. You mean... I see what you're getting at. That's a clever lad. Yeah, that's a proper good idea, that is. And it's always been your dream, ain't it, Smiley? You know, providing heroes with the tools of the trade and that. Ain't it, though? I know, it seems random, and... Cost... Could you just shut up for, like, five seconds? Of course, we're just starting out in the weapons business, like, so don't go expecting any discounts or nothing. What? You want us to pay you? Are you having a flippin' laugh? Oh, I have half a mind to stick the pair of you in a kind of country. <laughs> I'd actually love to see that. <laughs> so, this guy is the one who has the side quest, but to get it, we have to leave. For reasons that I don't understand. You know what? I'm going to save myself matter. Where's where's the dragon? Hi. Yes, let's go. Let's get off of this thing so we can get right back on. Come on, suckers, man. All right. And Bob's your uncle? Now the side quest is here. Hello. Flipman! No, man! This'll never do. Crikey, boys. You don't look too chubby. Oh, how do, drippy boy? Here, yeah. listen to this, right? Finally, we have opened our shop, and not a single flippant fairy has popped in. Tragic, is it? I just don't know where we're going wrong, man. We've got some proper tidy stock in and everything. I'll tell you, I'll tell you where you're going wrong. Shop here, you numbskulls. 
What better is ever going to end up by air? I feel kind of sorry for them, Mr. Drippy. Isn't there something we can do? All right, all right. Let's have a think. Well, there ain't much we can do about the location, but of course, crikey, I'm clever. Are you though? Uh, butt nosed fairy, butt nosed. I, I, I don't know. Potato. No, that nose isn't really a butt. What would that be? Uh, carrot, carrot nosed potato. <laughs> that's that's what you are now. You're a carrot nosed potato with maybe some uh, lettuce covering the lower half of the potato for some weird reason. Anyway, yeah, what are you? What are your flagship products? Uh, sorry, we don't sell ships, man. That's not what he means. I suppose we could order you one in here. Flagship products, I said. You flippin' halfwit. You know, exclusive stuff. Stuff you can only get by air. Make yourselves the exclusive stockist of some unique high-end items. And they'll be queuing up around the, uh, that month. You reckon? Tidy. What do we get as some of them, then? Leave that to me, man. Got loads of flipping brilliant ideas I have. You're joking, idiot. I'm not letting you off, go off on a spinning spree while I'm stuck by a slaving away at the shop. You walk shy so-and-so. Drippy boy. Sure. Oh, yeah. Why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've done this a hundred and something times already. We might as well just do it for you guys as well. Oh, smart. My first amazing idea. Well, that's... Wow, you're not supposed to agree with that, Smiley. First amazing idea was to go back home and ask everyone in the family ground. So many people down by there. One of them is bound to have an idea. Okay, so just kind of ask around. That's not that bad, actually. Tama, I knew you'd like it. Also, I reckon we need some proper cookie stuff. So try asking someone with an eye for comedy, too. Eye for comedy, eh? Well, there's an obvious candidate for that, ain't it? Dima, indeed. And she's been around a tidy while, too. Reckon she must know something. That's why I thought of asking her, see. My ideas are proper tidy and everything, but her ideas might be good too, ain't it? Ain't it though? Yeah, it could be that. Or, more likely, your ideas are a load of flippin' rubbish. Oh, and there was another one I had. When we were literally, one of us used to always go on about these amazing weapons he'd dream of. Was a tidy while back. Wow, you guys just this carrot face. Could you get rid of these two for me so we can actually go help them? How that makes any sense whatsoever, I don't know. It was a tidy while back though, so I can't remember much about it. Proper quirky ideas they were though. Well, we are we are my little belly, ain't it? Though, it smelled funny. So they're probably really old by now. Okay. Yeah, that was him, man. Oh, I remember now. It was you. What? No, it's flipping wasn't. Nickers! You used to draw them all over the place, ain't it, though? I reckon there must be some of your graffiti left somewhere. Well, one way or the other, I guess we're going to the fairy grounds. This is about as much as I know. I just knew how to kickstart it. I don't know the rest. Let's go. We'll be right back. Yeah. Bull. This might take a while. Teddy, tell Ralph for now. If we get stuck, just come back and ask us, ain't it, though? No. Alright, let's go to the fairy grounds. Now, I vanish and then somehow, seeing the others not vanish, they suddenly reappear next to me. That makes sense. Well, this is going to be easy.
Let's see. This guy? That's a McGee here. Hi. How do, boys? Long time no see, eh? Drippy boy. How do? Something up? Well, I got something to ask you. I suppose. Something to ask? What is it, man? We're not in trouble, are we? I don't think so. Smiley and Jelly really got a weapon shop, is it? I thought that was just part of their routine, like. Nah, man. It's all true. And they need stock. And I forgot about that. That was like yay, but like 60 blank episodes ago when they actually did that, I think. I don't even remember. And they need stock in it. Can you think of any weapons that will get the fairies flocking to their doors? What about your slapstick, Drippy Boy? There's not many more legendary weapons than that, is there? Slapstick? Don't be daft! What would anyone want with that old bit of rubbish? Come on. Ah, of course. You've not been around lately, have you? Youngsters these days reckon you're a proper legend, ain't it? You're known in fan circles as Lord I Lord of the Laughs. <laughs> Lord I Lord of the Laughs, huh? That is one neat nickname. <laughs> Drippy's like, looks looks up at Oliver and goes, What you laughing at, Drip? Ollie boy. How dare you laugh at me, Lord I Lord of the Fairies? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Get it though. Your gags are the stuff of fairy legend, Drippy boy. No one else. Oh, it's not a burn. It's a okay. I'm gonna take it as a burn anyway. <laughs> Why the youngins have been going crackers for replicas of your famous slapstick, ain't it? Isn't that kind of bad? Really? Not in that? <laughs> I mean, uh, does no account for taste, I suppose. You got the details of this replica thingy in your hat? Ta boys. This will come in proper handy. Be a sinister be boy. You're smiling and chilly out of God's, eh? Too many people talking at once. So what? Now I just go back to Smiley and Shirley. I mean, that wasn't that hard. And I asked to look for graffiti as well, but apparently graffiti was done by Shirley? Alright, you know what, let's just go back. If I'm wrong, then they'll tell me to come back here, but I don't know. Find out in a sec. Oops, wrong side. Ah! Hi. Tidy! Looks like you've got yourselves one of them brilliant ideas. And all you need to do is ask someone with a proper good eye for comedy. If they've got any ideas of their own for funny weapons, just ask Lord High Lord of the Laughs. He looks funny on his own. You don't even... You look funny looking. You know, yeah, uh, you do realize I'm talking about Drippy, the weird... What did you even call him at a point? I don't, maybe, I don't know. But that, that the thing with the lantern on the edge of its nose that follows my character everywhere. Yeah, I called him an otter. No, I called him an anteater. There it is, yeah, it was an anteater. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, that's weird, but funny. <laughs> Reckon there must still be some scribbled on a wall or something somewhere. No idea whether. That's not gonna help me. Um, well, luckily, the thing I used to help me look it up, I never exactly got rid of it. Then again, it doesn't really... Um... I got nothing. It, I don't know how this would have happened, but apparently Shirley graffitied a wall here somewhere. According to the walkthrough I'm looking at, at least, or according to IGN. Hello? It doesn't say it's here, though. 
Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna be going back and forth between IGN and this just to make sure I'm doing things right. Um. Oh. I was wrong. Hold up. Hold up. I'm gonna go back and it's inside of the fairy gun. Who would think of this? I, who thought? Who thought this up? Actually, I'm kind of intrigued. I want to know who who thunked this up. Droopy, was it you? You're the Lord High Lord of the Funnies. I think. It's not Lord High Lord of the Fairies, as you've always claimed for the past 75 episodes. What the hell, Droopy? Why, 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 why you be lying? Um. Time to go to the fairy ground. This time, going inside the fairy godmother. Because that's what that big thing is. It's not just a generic fairy mother, it's a fairy godmother. Sure. That was actually pretty close when we finished with conversing with that thing. Alright. <sighs> Alright. Whoa. Littlies everywhere. Littlies everywhere. Oh my gosh. Okay. So it's gonna be in one of these rooms. I don't know which room though. I'm trying to get be as vague with the um Like with the guide as much as I can, because I do want to figure at least most of it out if possible. Oliver, no walking. Walking is not allowed. I'm looking for a graffiti, though. Over here? No. Wait. It's in the one of the rooms. I think. This is becoming a lot more tedious than it needs to be. Hello? Well, okay. I fail. Going to the fairy grounds and talking to a community fairy godmother and locating some old graffiti inside of inside the fairy. What you went inside the fairy yard? I had to talk to her first. Oh, actually, I would never have guessed that. Order of operations, I guess. Well. Tis what it is, I suppose. Ah, great. Now the vocals of these freaking fairy things are rubbing off on me. Hey! Hey, you! Oh! Pfft. Mom! I'm home! Is that you, Trippy Boy? Why don't you ever give me a bit of notice before you come home, eh? Leaving your old mom in the dark, honestly. I've not done my hair or my makeup or nothing. Look at the state of me. Goodness only knows what your friends must think of me. The shame. No. <laughs> Shut up, will you? No one cares what you look like. Stop embarrassing me. Anyway, there's more important things to talk about. Smiley and Shirley are in a proper pickle. We need to bend you ear about it. Listen to him, cheeky little devil. Are you even listening to what he's saying? Actually, I wouldn't blame you. He's kind of a nimrod. I mean, you, you heard what they said before, right? Or am I going to have to reiterate it? Yeah, I'll do it in a little bit. You are such a dear, sweet, literally. 
Whatever happened to the lad who loved his mommy wommy woo? Whoa, okay, what? He's not eight. That's it, is it? Well, that's easy enough. I know just the thing you need. Came to me while you were yabbering on, did it did? Go on then, tell us. What you need is a weapon with a funny name to make your customers smile, ain't it? A lance should do it, I reckon. Of all weapons, why is a lance a funny name? Eh, uh, should? Or is it should? Trust your old man. Oh, was that Drippy who said that? I didn't take a moment to actually check who was saying it. What about a nice, healy one called Ambula? That went nowhere. <laughs> I meant to throw it over. Through. I can't English. I meant to throw it over me and like back there, but it, as you guys saw, just tumbleweed. It tumbleweeded over my entire body. Screw you for the pun. No good. Tough crowd. Never mind. You could give one away, I suppose. Call it a... Call it a freelance. Shut up. Still not keen. Come on. Dad jokes are totally like two centuries ago. This is totally not this decade. Crikey. You want the moon on a stick, you do? Of all my littlies, there ain't a single one that ever gave me so much grief. The things I do for you. The things you don't do more like it. Don't you take that tone with me, young man. Fine. I'll give you my most secret secret. Just don't blame me if you get embarrassed. Oh, just shut up and tell us, will you? It's the lines I used to rock you to sleep with before you were old enough to lift me so mercilessly. <laughs> My dear old lullaby lads. A lullaby lads? Okay. Oh, don't go getting all dewy-eyed on me, love. You've got me started now. Welling up, I am. Shut up, mom. Half of the idea. See you later. You got the idea for the lullaby lands. Really? Okay. Well, I thought we were supposed to go inside and look at different things, but I guess. Wait, didn't they bring up the? You know what? We're gonna go back. I wanna. I wanna check something really quick. I'm gonna double check to see if what I'm guessing is actually the case, where you have to like. What I'm guessing, you have to talk to them to pick up the next step, kind of thing. Whoa, 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 camera, camera, hi. Daddy, looks like you've got yourselves a couple of them brilliant ideas. Now, if you could just find us one of them ideas for funny weapons from when we literally stoop, we'll have the full set. Okay, now it's one of those rooms I was thinking of. Reckon there must be some still scribbled on a wall or something somewhere. I know where. Now we go where I was thinking. Okay, yeah, so it's a very specific order. That's weird. Whatever. So, Lord High Lord of the Funnies, tell me a joke. Drippy's just staring at my rear end. That's not funny, Drippy. That's no joke. That's just ridiculous. Stop it. And your run? Your run just looks stupid. These ain't no jokes. These are just bad. These are just bad. Oh, that's your normal run. Oh. Oh, okay. After 75 episodes, I would have assumed as much known it. And, you know, I do, but, you know, just more reason to burn Drippy, I guess. Alright, so in one of these rooms, and it's not going to tell me which one. Gah, come 
fine. You're not gonna be that nice, are ya? I swear it's one of these rooms. But when we were little, it's. You figured this would be the case, didn't you? One of the walls. I reckon it's about time we went to the top of the. Nope. You're just talking about progression. I ain't doing that. Wonder. I guess it's kind of like the case of an overworld where it doesn't exactly show you. Huh. All right, time to revert to help again because I am very lost. Leftmost room near the blue slide. Oh, interact with the blue slide and apparently it's going to count. Hey, look, Mr. Drippy, there's something written here. Oh, yeah. What does it say, then? I made some gloves from claws of crab. But I found stone dead on the beach. Poor dab. They carved my foes of something lush, but turned me flippin' hands to mush. Wow. Uh, turned his own hands to mush? Well, that's no flippin' good, is it? You got the idea for the flawed claws. I guess that's it. All right, let's go back. Oh. Usually you can at least use vacate when you can't travel. What is this? What is this BS? Actually, it's exactly that BS. All right, let's leave. This is def definitely interesting. All right, go back to the Iron Wyvern. And I'm gonna see if I can get it from here. Enough help! Drippy's gonna have a laugh of his own if I keep asking for help. Hi, sorry to keep you waiting, boys. We got them ideas you were after. Don't know if that'll be any use, though. Let me, you did. Tidy. Guess I can look then. Guess? Knew you wouldn't let us down, Drippy Boy. This stuff's gold, but gold. Eh? You reckon? Mom's the one who's flipping rubbish, I thought. Nah, man. Don't be stupid, man. This is why you call, they call you Lord High Lord of the Laughs and not Lord High Lord of the Fairies. You got nothing up here, man. Whether you guys heard what Pink Fox said or not, I'm not repeating it. <laughs> Don't you dare. He said he has nothing up there. I said neither do you, so. <laughs> you don't, though. Hello, hello, hello. You're not going to get an echo if that's what you're looking for. <laughs> oh, I already got one. <sighs> Me losing my dumb mind is making her lose us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, screw sense. you, Smiley! <laughs> Basically, what I said in the way these guys talk, I said, Me losing my mind is making you lose yours. I'm not losing my mind. You're not the only one who just said that. I say that, change dialogue. Smiley goes, No, it ain't, though. I'm like, so I'm the only one here. <sighs> Drippy, you better keep your freaking mouth shut. You say one thing, you're not going to become Lord High Lord of the Funnies. You're going to be the Lord High Lord of the Mush. Still missing something in my dream weapon shop. Won't be complete till we got it. Crikey. There's no pleasing some people, is there? Go on, then. What is it? Well, see, it's... What is it? We need a souvenir of the great sage Alicia. 
She's dead, you idiot. What? Why? Alicia's... I know, Mon. I know. She's gone. But that's why it would be so special, ain't it? A proper relic, you know? A real talking point. Okay, fair enough. But where do we... Come on, Oliver! Come on! I don't, even I don't need to look at a guide for this. That's a no-brainer. There is literally one place. One. That still existed. Well, indeed, on me, boy. Hang on. Of course. Ali, ain't it? Huh? My mom? Duh! Yeah, mom. Your mom was the great sage Alicia before she went to see your world, wasn't she? So any old thing of your mom's could count as a souvenir of the great sage, ain't it? Oh, well, I know where to go. I know the building to go to. I know exactly where to go. Oh, I see. Isn't that stretching it a little? Nah, man. It's not a lie, is it? It's all in how you sell it. Tiny, that's decided then. Let's go and find something, shall we? Okay. Time to cast Gateway. Now I'm supposed to cast it. I looked it up before and even... I didn't even need to... <laughs> sure, yes, it told me to do it after that, but even I could have guessed that. All right. Now, what it didn't, what it doesn't tell you is where to go here. If I were to personally take a guess, Ollie's house. Right? Nah, it's not gonna tell me. It, it don't, it don't want to tell me crap. That's where all her stuff is, so it makes sense. Then again, everything that's inside that house, you don't see. What the? Is that? Allie? Oh. Oh, no, no, no. I'm just dumb. Their back turned, she kind of looked like her, but no, 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 no. No. You know? Girls these days are even wearing skirts as high as their knees. <laughs> you think that's the height? This obviously takes place long before right now. Oh, that's the... <clears throat> Duh. Wait. I thought that was... Can't go on my own home. Fine. Sheesh. Then. Yeah, I'm lost again. I mean, I. Of course, what I figured was the case wasn't the case, so. Heck do I know. Or maybe. Maybe it's that one up there. Maybe that one up there is my character's home. Actually, that might be why. Yep, yeah, that's why. What am I doing? Inside the house. Pull up the map. What do we got? Look around, I guess. Find something, Ollie boy. I'm literally going to move around the place until I find something. Kitchen, eh? Reckon there must be something by here we can use. Oi, Ollie boy. Can you think of anything in here your mom was proper fond of? A weapon of choice, like? Um, there's her frying pan, I guess. She used it every morning to make my eggs. Must have liked it a lot. Frying pan, eh? Eggs, you said? Roll up, roll up. Use the very frying pan the great sage Alicia used to... Exact her revenge on her foes. Flying frying pan. Maybe just a flying pan. Yeah, right. Shut up. Drippy, you're not funny. Yep, this'll do it. It'll be perfect, in fact. Tiny, job done. Let's go, shall we? Uh, are you sure? 
seems like kind of a goofy idea for a weapon. I'm gonna keep looking around just in case. That feels a bit off. If it doesn't give me another option, then fine, sure, but... And this is Ollie's room, so there's nothing that's gonna be in here. We're just gonna be pulling a frickin' Tangled. Wait, I can actually go in here now. What? Hey, this is it's Mom's diary. Look, the pendant she gave me. It's glowing. What? Well, we're... Bye, Pink Fox. <laughs> Close the door all the way, please. Aw. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> anyway. I... I didn't expect that. Okay. Um, I guess it's all right. I guess we got it. Let's get out of here. Head back to the Iron Wyvern, and we might be done. We might finally be done, Mom. Leaving literally two things left, as far as I know. Hey there, boys. Brace yourself, boss. We come bearing proper good news. Nice one, Jeffy boy. We knew you wouldn't let us down. Go on, then. What have you got for us? A frying pan. Crikey. That's interesting. Was it a great thing? Alicia was proper fond of something called a frying pan, is it? That's right. Um, it's not a weapon, but... Judge it, you. I mean, let me finish with you, Ollie boy. Yeah, so... I think technically a weapon, but she used it to absolutely murder some sausages. I mean, in a manner of speaking, yeah. Fine, I'll let you keep the title funny, Drippy, but you're not. You are far from it. What do you reckon? We do something with this thing. Oh, sweet God, man. It's an absolute banger. Nah, man. Seriously. Our new stock's gonna be going to bring them flocking from miles around. Yeah, this is to say tar like. Go on, take it. That's it. That was the errand. Okay. Thank you. And to think we started out thinking that umbrella thingy was our star item. Ain't it though? What kind of weapon shop specializes in umbrellas? Bonkers we must have been. Oh, come to mention it. That means the formula is going to spawn now. Ain't it? Yeah, have this too. It's a bit of a pain to make. But try it out, man. You know, it might come in handy. Save it for a rainy day, ain't it? I doubt I'll ever use it, but okay. Sure. I know. Let's sell our faces off, shall we? Roll up, roll up. Roll down, roll sideways. We don't care as long as you... Okay, Drippy, take notes. Oh, wait, they got notes from him. Shoot. Never mind. Oh, like, this is not really gonna do anything for me. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I don't know what to say here. Okay. I wonder. Well, now that we activated that, we got a few minutes left. I want to go check to see if that activated anything at Swift Solutions. I don't know why. For some reason, I like the Swift Solutions and Ding Dong Dell the best. Again, as I said, I have no idea why. But let's go check that. If not, if that's all, then we have got a, we got a couple of things left. But just a couple. I wasn't expecting any more or any less, quite frankly. It's always been 10. That's never going to change. 
You're having a laugh, man. I'm sure you are, Drippy, actually. Just sitting there waddling behind me, and you're like, just like, eh, eh, eh. Hello. That did not trigger any bounties. And, all right, because I got all these. Everything else is going to be like no stance, I'm betting. In fact, that other one was no stance. That was probably the last errand, now that I think about it. All we got to do now, we got two more side quests. Things that we don't absolutely have to do, but I at least want to give it a try. So, one way or the other, pause for a moment. I want to see what our strongest available weapons can possibly be. Be right back, guys. You know, it's going to take me forever over here on my end on pause, so I'm just going to figure it out later. Um, I'm tr I was trying to figure out what the best weapon equip and equipment for this would be to prep for what we're going to do next time, which will be the Temple of Trials Rank S. The Solosian Rank S. Now, whether or not we beat it or not, we, we will. We will. Whether it's recording number 1 or 10,000, I don't care. We will beat it. <laughs> but for right now... I know this is kind of where we started the episode because this is what I was planning on doing originally. Then I found out errand 132. Did we start this here? I don't know. Either way around, yeah, we'll take on Saul Sims rank X S. What the hell would rank X be? I don't know. We'll take on rank S next time. But one way or the other, yeah, gonna have gonna leave this here. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Nino Kuni Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. We're coming very close to a close here. We'll have this. Um, the side stuff that can be done over in the Tombstone Trail. And then we'll finally take on the final boss without speeding up. <laughs> um, but one way or the other, um, if you guys like this video, make sure to push that like button. And so far you can't see it anymore. If you really like it, consider subscribing to the channel. I have a suggestion for a game by Bandai Namco or level 5 you'd like to see on here. Let us know in the comments below. Now, in the past, I did check out um, Dark Cloud by like, level 5. I did not go all the way through it. I did not give it a fair chance. But I was still kind of in the mental process of getting to the point where I am now as far as like doing that kind of thing goes. If you want to check out how I thought of it originally... Click the bottom right corner train to that destination. I'm not going to remove it just because I find it kind of funny. Maybe eventually it'll be removed and replaced. But it's still there as of this recording. Uh, so check that out if you guys like it too. Uh, if you missed any of the other 70 some odd stops on this ride so far. Or any of the future ones if you're watching this on a future date. Click the link across from right here and the train will take you there. In the meantime our train's off to another destination. But we hope to catch you guys in another ride. Bye.